Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, author of many books on drawing cartoons, which I hope you'll take a look at. And today I'm going to show you uh, something for character design, something, a very simple trick to bring out the interest in a character. Often when we have a character, we start with, say, oh, let's say it starts, I'll bring this down a little bit. It starts with, say, something like a, an oval, like this. I'm going to keep this sketchy. Okay. You notice it's a little wider at the top, a little narrower at the bottom. That works. Head, chin. Okay, good. And we'll start with a also center line like this. And we'll bring the eye line this way, keep it round. A lot of people just go straight with an eye line. The problem is, it, is that the, the surface of the face is not, ra uh, not flat, it's round. And you kind of break the illusion if you have a flat line. So we'll bring the ear here just as a place marker so we know where we're going. And we'll bring a little upturned nose. This is going to be a little kind of sneaky guy. I, I like to draw those sneaky characters. You get a lot of personality in them. So here, instead of, we're going to have to you know, define a little bit more of the head before we do everything else, we are going to add something that changes it from an oval to an odd and unique shape, which is what you want, something unique, something different. So instead of having this being round like this, we are going to bring it up here, almost make the back of it flat, bring it straight like this. And then it'll go back in here also straight, Come down here for like a very narrow neck. Come out here and slope this thing. Yeah, like that. This kind of fun look, slope it way down. Now you see when we have the rest of the character in here, it's going to this, the personality of the head shape is going to add to the personality of the character. So let's give him sort of like, oh, eyes that are very cynical. Half shut, heavy upper eyes. I'm gonna sketch it first to get, always to sketch it lightly to get the position rather than just, that's the line. Wait, be, be sure you have it first. So that looks good. So then I will darken the upper eyelid, make it seem heavy and bleed that into the eyeball, which means that there's no space between the upper eyelid and the black eyeball. The same value in both, it just goes one into the other, a little lighter here, and we'll just kind of tug at the eye, upper eyelid like that. See these two lines? They kind of pull it forward. So it's giving him a little bit of an attitude already. And bring the eyebrow down a little bit like so, and this one a little bit up. He does already, we don't have a mouth expression, he already does not look like the most trustworthy character in the history of the world. So we'll give him a smile, but it's not gonna be the kind of smile that you are going to trust, which is fun. I mean, let's have fun. A small little opening for the mouth. And it's the crookedness of that smile and a tiny little row of teeth that shows that he's just out for himself. A little shadow under there. You see the tiny row of teeth? Most characters, if they're true blue and nice, they have big teeth, shining bright smiles, but he does not. Okay, so let's give him a little collar, and we'll just shadow that in, shade that like that there. Starting to come out and be something. Now, we'll give him uh, a part, and we'll do that on a diagonal here, right here. Just indicate a little part. Now, a lot of times you see beginning artists, they have the part and they draw the hair over, but the part is a valley. So you want this to come up like this. And on the other side too. So that's one spike, and we'll give them a second spike. And we'll give him a third spike flopping over. And this would be simpler. We have a lot of complicated stuff here. So this is just a little simpler. Like that. All the complex stuff starts up here. Now I'm going to bring this out a little wider. The reason is I want a little more room on the other side, like this. It seems to me that this was a little narrow. So we'll bring that straight line back here. 
a little errant hair over here, like this here, a little shadow under the hair like that. You can even put a little extra line here. And there are some character design hints. I hope you'll like them and guess where they come from? They come from my new book, which I hope you'll get, called The Master Guide to Drawing Cartoons. And guess what? He's in here. This guy is in here. Every step you need. Okay? So I really enjoy showing you my new stuff. I hope you'll like it. And I hope you'll subscribe and come back again soon. I will too. We'll meet here next week. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.